رسول الله كان يستنجس أحدا منهم هذا الانحراف في عقيدة المسلم يخاف أن يكون عليه جاذبية تجذبه إلى المسيح الدجال من حيث لا يشعر فعندما يقابل المسيح الدجال سيجذبه مباشرة إلى حقيبته وإلى كيسه ويدخله مع أصحابه العياذ بالله so anybody who has deviant um, belief, so it's like a person has deviancy in terms of their belief about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is anthropomorphic in nature. Or somebody who has a deviant belief as it relates to the Prophet sallallahu believing that the Prophet sallallahu is merely a man. Or somebody who has a deviant belief as it relates to the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi trying to belittle the companions of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then all they save to do is prepare themselves to be taken by the Antichrist so that when he manifests, that he will walk, he will embrace them. أولئك الأقوام سيحصلون على شيء مقابل تنازلهم عن هذا الدين العظيم فقد سيخدعون لمدة 40 يوما ثم سيهلكون والعياذ بالله مع الأشرار and if only such people would actually to earn something by having deviant belief but know rather that they will be alongside the antichrist for a period a duration of 40 days and then he will take them to hellfire لذلك ونحن على مشار فاخر الزمان يتعين علينا دائما نذكر هذا الأمر and so thereby we're on the verge of the manifestation of the end of time and so we should always be making mention of this affair because at the end of time approaches then people begin to be distracted and begin to become heedless about the affair of the antichrist such that they're more preoccupied with other other affairs and the first place you will see the antichrist forgotten is upon them in the pulpits in and of themselves speaking about things other than the antichrist تساهل في الدين في آخر الزمان فهؤلاء مباشرة يأخذهم بخلاف المربوطين بالنبي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وبالأولياء والصالحين الدين عميق في قلوبهم بعمق المحبة للنبي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم فلا يقدر أن يؤثر عليهم المسيح الدجال. And so the magic antichrist or manifest manifest when religion is light in the hearts of people, i.e. people not firmly grounded or rooted inside the religion of 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 the religion of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم such that when the antichrist manifests they will be taken very easily by the Antichrist except those who truly have a strong connection and tie to the Prophet due to the profundity of love that they have for the Rasul such as the awliya the protected friends of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala such people are protected and preserved <laughs> تدخل إلى باطنه إلى قلبه وإلى روحه وتصير عنده كالمناعة من فتنة المسيح الدجال كلما أراد أن يؤثر عليه ترده أنوار القرآن المخبأ داخل قلب المؤمن وقلب المؤمنة And alongside them will be people who recite the first three verses inside the Surah Al-Kahf each and every single Jummah or likewise in another version of the, of the tradition that they recite the initial ten verses of Surah Al-Kahf or likewise the last ten verses of Surah Al-Kahf such people there will be a light that will now spread inside of their heart and it will give them a type of immunization from the actual tribulation of the Antichrist. <laughs> بخلاف المؤمن الذي لا يقرأ سورة الكهف لا أولها ولا آخرها ولو ثلاث آيات ولا المسلمة كذلك فأنه يكون من داخله خواء ويكون من داخله فراغ ولا تنفع تلك العبادات أمام الفتنة الصمة البكمة العمية فيأخذه العياذ بالله but there are others who are who do not recite the first three verses nor the first ten verses nor the last ten verses of Surah Al-Kahf such that there's a void inside of their inside of their heart and soul and thereby when the Antichrist manifests they will be taken in this sort of great and terrible tribulation because when he manifests he has schemes and machinations that are beyond the very comprehension of man كاملة على التلاعب بالعقول وعلى كسر الثوابت التي ينشا عليها الناس المسلمين وغير المسلمين. And he has an ability to actually play with the minds of human beings. عنده كذلك قدرة على استخدام السحرة في قلب الحقائق. And he also likewise has an ability to actually make use of magicians in terms of a reversal of reality. عنده تفسير مادي ونظري لكل ما يحصل. And he, he has يعني, an, an intricate knowledge of the materialism when, when, and anything that manifests inside of the perceived or the sensual realm. He 
and he also has like a mastery of technology that will a able to be able to solve famine and if any when it manifests طبعا قبل خروجه كما قال النبي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم سيكون جفاف وستكون مجاعة وسيكون هو عنده القدرة على الطعام وعلى أطعام من يتبعه ومن لم يتبعه يهدده ويجوعه and as the Prophet said, he will manifest after great famine and tribulation has afflicted planet Earth and he's able to sort of solve the crisis of famine, but only for those who follow him. If you follow him, then he'll feed you. If you don't follow him, then you go hungry. So somebody who's deluded by their own intellect and they're deluded by yani, in, in, yani, intellectualism or intelligentsia that when the actual antichrist, antichrist manifests with this sort of great sort of rational or quote-unquote intelligent mind that they will, such people will be taken by the antichrist. The only types of minds that are going to be protected from him are minds that are illuminated by the Prophet and so when we study the actual Antichrist, this gives us a type of protection yani from the Antichrist in and of himself. And Prophet Muhammad sallallahu and so the Prophet وسلم, out of his mercy and his compassion for the Ummah of the Prophet وسلم, that he has described the actual Antichrist in detail. And the Prophet وسلم, has did this in order to protect his Ummah from this tribulation that seeks to take Muslims and non-Muslims alike upon the face of planet Earth unto hell. As for non-Muslim nations or those who are not from the faith of the Prophet وسلم, then it will be very easy for the Antichrist to take such people and to delude such people and to deceive such people. But the Ummah of the Prophet وسلم, herein lies his problem. Those people who are who through knowledge of the Antichrist are able to effectively protect themselves from him. And so this light that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has cast inside of you, a light by virtue of which you prostrate, a light by virtue of which you believe, a light by virtue of which you pray, this light is connected to the light of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahihi wa sallama and this light will never be static but the light will increase and it will increase and increase until it reaches a point at the end of one's lifetime where you will see through that light the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallama ولا يشبه أي نور من أنوار المخلوقة لا يشبه نور الشمس ولا نور القمر ولا هذه الأنوار المصنعة هذا نور من الله وارد أتى ذكر في سورة النور إذا قرأت سورة النور تجد ذكر هذا النور المعنوي الإلهي من الله and so this light that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has cast inside of your heart, this light, it, and it differs, contrasts any type of light that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created from the light that is, is sensual, that is, is sense, the light of the sun, the light of the moon, etc. This type of light Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made mention of inside of the chapter of light inside of the Quran. <laughs> بلغة الروح ويقولون لك من ربك 
فأنت بهذا النور ستفهم هذا الكلام ليس باللغة العربية ولا بالإنجليزية هذا بلغة الروح التي تحملها وسترد على الملكين بهذا النور تقول الله ربي To this light that you have inside of your heart it's a light by virtue of which you'll be able to unveil the actual language of the angels the two angels who will, who will visit you and interrogate you inside of the grave yet you'll be able to understand the actual language of the angels in and of themselves you will not understand them through the language of the arabic language you will not understand them through the language of the english language but you'll understand them through the actual light that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed inside of you such that when they question you and interrogate you as to who is your Lord, you will say Allah is my Lord. وستتمكن بهذا النور من رد الجواب يقولان لي من نبيك فتقول محمد نبي and likewise with that same light when they interrogate you as to who is your prophet when they ask you this that you be able to likewise to answer successfully by saying Muhammad is my prophet وكذلك بهذا النور العظيم الذي أنت في داخل قلبك كما قلنا ستعرف الكلام وسترد الجواب ومن ليس له نور في قلبه لم يأخذ شيئا من وار النبي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم في حياته لا نور الصلاة ولا نور الصيام في رمضان ولا نور القيام في الليل هو سيكلمه الملك بصوت كبير كالرعد القاصف ولكنه لن يفهم ماذا يقول الملك what it's being said to them, they're able to answer appropriately. But some, and for somebody who does not have this light, then they will not be able to understand the words of the angels, these words that are sort of terrifying in nature, like thunder. Such a person you know, who does not have this light, in the same way they lived inside of life, bereft of light, Likewise, they'll live in the depth of darkness inside of their grave. And so somebody who's able to answer successfully inside of the grave, that they will live inside the bliss inside of the grave. In a bliss that you live inside of the grave that does not resemble any type of quote-unquote bliss that a person experiences inside of this life. And this, this bliss is not a bliss that you perceive with your, with your ocular vision, but it's a bliss that you see with your spiritual vision. And the Antichrist is going to try to extinguish the light of the heart so that a person is not able to see this bliss. And he extinguishes this by promoting inside of people the yeah, egocentricism and self centeredness. <laughs> And so the Prophet taught us how to increase this light such that we're not affected by the tribulation of the Antichrist.